Guys, have you ever looked back at an old clip or photo and thought it deserved a cleaner look? My name is Daniel and in this video we are testing a tool that turns those blurry files into crisp 4K visuals. It's called Video Proc Converter and today I'll walk you through how it handles both video and images, showing solid results. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's dive in! Alright folks, so let's break down what this software actually is. Video Pro Converter is designed to enhance your footage and pictures with minimal effort. It's specifically trained to handle real-world content, not just lab examples that look perfect in demos, but fail with your actual files. Guys, the standout feature here is Super Resolution, which can upgrade footage frame by frame and deliver smooth results up to 4K. There's also Image AI, which focuses on single photos, giving them more detail and removing that washed out, low quality feel. It's not just about making things bigger, it's about making them look natural and of a higher quality. Friends, let me show you how Video Pro Converter performs in real situations. First, we head over to the official site and hit the free download button. Right here, you can also buy a full license. After installing, we open the app and land on the main page. Guys, this is where all the tools are lined up. Super Resolution and Image AI are the stars of the show. Let's start with the first feature. Folks, the program automatically detects your hardware, so there's nothing complicated to set up. There's even a short step-by-step -step guide built right into the panel, which makes the workflow very beginner-friendly. On the right, you'll see the model section. Each model is optimized for different outcomes. For example, Real Smooth aims for fidelity and clarity with a smoother appearance. The anime model is tuned for anime and cartoon images. In this case, my friends, we'll use Gen Detail V3, which gives the best sharpness and fine detail. You can also switch between high quality and fast mode. Below, there are options to pick the scale or adjust resolution and enhancement. Then there are export settings, so you can control the final file format before saving. Folks, let's load up our first video and try a 3 times upscale, so you can really see the difference. On the left you've got the original, and on the right is the processed preview. The frame instantly looks sharper and the noise is reduced. All that's left is to hit run, wait a little and export the upgraded video. The old clip was blurry with random grain, and the enhanced one feels much clearer and crisper. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Here is another sample, a clip of a boat near an island. After running it through at 4 times upscale, the water looks smoother and the background is a lot sharper. Again, the before and after difference is striking. The processed version looks more stable and natural to watch. Now, folks, let's try a video filled with plants and nature details. In the raw version, there's blur and plenty of noise, but after enhancement, the lines are sharper and the overall picture is easier on the eyes. That's the power of super resolution. Ok, guys, now it's time to switch to image AI. This works very much the same way. Let's take a photo of a swan as an example. I'll select 4x scaling for the best quality. Just look at the results. The swan's feathers became much smoother and clearer. Folks, you could say it looks more refined. Noise disappeared completely. The water quality also improved noticeably. Let me export this and view it in full screen. The final image is quite impressive. For another test, guys, I'll load an old black and white portrait. I want to do face restoration on it. And here's the result. Much smoother and clearer facial features. The details are better visible with no excess noise, the face is beautifully restored and clearly defined. Folks, to push it further, you can even add color. Suddenly, the portrait comes to life with natural-looking tones that feel authentic rather than artificial. Let me show you another example of how the program colorizes photos. Guys, here's a brighter version with more vivid colors. Everything looks very natural and nothing stands out awkwardly. All colors are selected as they would appear in a real-life image. Honestly, this is really cool stuff. This is the kind of improvement that makes you want to dig out every old album and run it through. But that's not all this thing can do, folks. Let me show you the frame interpolation feature, which smooths out the visuals by creating additional frames between existing ones. After uploading a video, I'll select 5 times FPS increase. That's all we need to set up. Let's compare the before and after results. The original footage with 30 frames per second looks a bit choppy, 
but after processing, it became much more dynamic. The enhancement really transformed this clip. Friends, another great tool is video stabilization. That fixes shaky footage without needing expensive equipment. If you have a trembling video but want smooth playback, this app handles it perfectly. You can see different modes and presets available here. I'll stick with the default settings and click Analyze. Guys, you can compare the result and the original side by side and immediately see the difference. The left video shakes quite a bit, while the stabilized version is much smoother and more professional looking. That's really impressive. Alright folks, that's a wrap on the video proc converter journey. Video comes out sharper and higher resolution, while images look clearer and more polished. And the best part is the balance between automation and control. You get strong results without needing expert editing skills. My friends, don't miss the chance to test it. You can download the software for free and see how your own videos and photos improve. So what do you think? Do you see yourself using this more for fun experiments or as part of your everyday workflow? Share your thoughts in the comments. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.